So guys, it's Stealth here, and we're back playing Knights of the Old Republic. Let's get swooping. The time to beat is 3843. Now here's the thing with the swoop tournament this time around. You want to go slow the first time. So I'm going to let it go for about 8 seconds. And we go. Now let's try to catch up. Because now we actually need to get there now. Now we're actually running out of time. One, two, three, four. There we go. Beat it by four seconds. You want to go slow the first time. Because what happens... You're going to see what happens, actually. I don't need to explain it to you. Well, I'm awesome. I mean, we've covered this already. I'm quite the awesome dude. Alright, so yeah, the opposite rider for the other team, whether you sided with the Volkers or the Vex, will beat your time the first time around. You want to go slow, so that you don't give yourself too much of a thing to beat. So what's the time to beat now? 3391. I'm going to obliterate that time now. Now I'm going to try for real. This time, no jokes. I'm just spamming my left mouse. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Beat it by a whole ten seconds. My old time, not not Renders this time. That's right. I will win. I am the winner! I am amazing. Praise me. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! You're a liar. Sorta. Of. Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You fool! Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the way to the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezik. <laughs> You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Well, that's because you thought that she was still an officer. You were just an idiot. 
I don't think you actually can fail. Like, I think you'll trigger this even if you lose. Because I think Vasily will break out, but I've never lost, so I wouldn't know. I assume you'd still do it. Because it's gotta be for story's sake, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot. He has all the fancy schmancy stuff that prevents us from actually hitting him. Yeah, do I have a blaster? No, heavy blaster it is. So I'm gonna actually blast him. Because my low strength is not gonna get us to actually hit him with, you know. Or I can just, you know, not hit him. That works too. You know what? Screw this. Frag grenade. There we go. Oh my god, I can't hit him. Okay, back to melee. I swear I'm not bad at this, guys. It's just because I focused all my stats on all the, you know, skills and stuff. My combat's a little weak at the moment, but it'll get better, I promise. Alright, he's dead. Now, these guys dropped stuff, didn't they? Yeah, he did. Grenade to replace the one I used, and then... Basilisk double blade lightsaber. Blaster pistol, magic belt, armband, fiber blade, glove, military suit. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Well, good looking. It's a long story. Well, we don't have time for it now. We have to get out of here before the Sith show up to sort out this mess. Is there somewhere safe we can go? Well, I got somewhere safe to go. I was planning to take you there after I saved you. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Valkyrs would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Um, you were kind of helpless until I came along. But I'm not going to actually say that response. It's what I'm thinking. What I will say is that we don't have time for this. Car's waiting for us. I'm going to be the bigger person here. Karth Onasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Not win, Revan. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Um, we were looking for you? Yeah, that's kind of what we were doing. That was the whole point of everything we've done so far. We haven't even thought about an escape plan yet. I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. 
Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Well, both of you have good points, but... I want a fourth option that say you're both right. I'm gonna go with number one, though. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there, we just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Alright, what now? I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Uh, something weird happened when we met. A vision? A vision of what? You. Fighting a dark Jedi. Revan, I guess, from, you know, when you called him that. This is... It's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. What do you mean by that? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. Um... I've never chosen number three. I want to choose three. Oh, it doesn't change what happens. Fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. So you can't be a Jedi yet, is basically what she's saying. Fooey. Can I talk to Garth? I didn't talk to Garth. What? Yes, what's on your mind? Mm, you got nothing it. new. I guess I'll have to wait till we get on to off of the planet. No, no crystals. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what would be a good one? Attack minus one, energy one, energy one, attack minus one. Piercing two, ion two, stun. Holy cow. Ooh, a bow caster. One, one, two, key. That looks like a freaking katana. I like it. This can go here. Perfect. Alright, let's go out into the world. We're going to take Bastila with us, and we're going to take... You know... Let's do it. It doesn't really matter, I'm going to change him out anyway, but still, we'll, we'll take him. Who are you? Yin kin kun no ba muli ra chin kun. Tong hai tun kun chin ni bobo ji mata. He asked me. Rundi hao donga ku hunga bi. Isn't he that Mandalorian that works for Davik? Takum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu aitha hodonga tulpa da bonk mualya gando da nago chuchut. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang ninkotu. Tulpa da bonk 
Walia Gando de Nago Chuchut, Kachi Chuai Thahaudunga. All right, I'll meet him in the cantina. Shagji Kin Lord Chawa Tauma Kava Vulpa Mulji Kumana Kin Kun Shachi Kin Nikin Kunoba Muli Raji Kun. And these guys need to level up. I knew that going in, though. <sighs> Charisma will go up for you. Honestly... I wish you had more intelligence, because you have a lot of skills. Demolitions is not one of them. Repair is also not one of them. Those are the only two that you can't do. And that's based off of Knights of the Republic 2's skill trees, because that's what the mod does. However, when I make my person, they'll be able to do every single freaking skill on the planet. Uh, tree injury, awareness. You know what, you're gonna be... You're gonna have a minor in stealth. Majoring in just being aware of things, but also being stealthy is good. Uh, oh god, I hate this. Stun droid. What powers are next? Oh, I don't want to give you that. First to speed. What feats? Um, oh yeah, you get more feats too, I forgot. You get, like, think, like two more feats in your level. Cure. Deem that. It's all for you. Okay. You're a lot easier to figure out. Quite literally, I just get to choose what I want to do. You'll be a gearhead for sure. After I get you toughness. Uh, let's see. Injury, repair, demolitions. Let's give you a cardio regulator, your bowcaster, an energy shield. That's it. Pastelus got a robe, she's gonna get Frederick's belt, his gloves, his armband, a Sith energy shield to boot. Cause I should have one, right? Do I have one? Yeah, I have one. She's gonna get a Sith energy shield, she's gonna get her lightsaber, and she's gonna get that headband. That does it. Alright, let's go to the cantina then. There's actually a couple of things we gotta take care of first. We got Bendix Starkiller. I have to actually kill him. This is not the day, Bastila. Come on. Yeah, we got Bendix Starkiller to take care of. And we also gotta give the cure to, uh... Uh, Zelka? Zelka's his name, isn't it? I'm gonna find out in a minute. Oh, right, there's a reason I wanted to have Karth. I think there's a conversation that's going to pop up between the two of them. I think. About here's where it happens. Usually. Bastila, I was yeah, I was right. How did those Vulcans manage to capture a famous Jedi? Or were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? No, I was conscious. But my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but I've seen you Jedi in action. There's, there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pond. The Vulcans came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait, let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? 
Maybe losing lightsabers is a side effect of her battle meditation. This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history taxes. I hardly consider myself a legend, Carl. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. Yeah. All right, when we come back, we're going to be uh, delivering the Vacuole cure to Zelka over there. We're going to kill Venix Darkiller. Um, and then we're going to see what Candrus has in store for us. Until then, peace out, guys.